Yo, Rashad here from rmbsinglessons.com. I'm going to react to Michael Pengilinan's I'll Make Love To You. So first I'm going to just react and I'm going to make notes of the points that I want to talk about for analysis after, for like the technical singing teacher analysis, for those that are interested in that. Okay. One of my favorite songs, by the way, I love Voice to Men. My favorite artist is Wanye Morris from Boys to Men. Acoustic version, beautiful. Wish 1075. Close your eyes, Ooh. make a wish, and blow out the candlelight. For tonight is just. Your night, we're gonna celebrate all through the night. Pour the wine, light the fire, girl. Your wish is my command. I submit to your demands. I will. All right, so I'm just going to a bit of analysis. That was fantastic. He killed it. Uh, and just check the key of the song. I want to see if he did it lower. I think he did it lower. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. 
Okay. C. I think that's the original is in D. I'm pretty sure. C. So he put it down two keys. Let me check. Okay. So you secure. You wish um, come Yeah, it's in D. So he's he's dropped it down two keys and it's super high. So I don't blame him. It's like way high. One it's so high, like one yay when he belts, even the chorus, it's really high, and then it just keeps getting higher, like particular note holds, got a lot of note holds. So he's put it down two keys, just point it out there first. First bit of analysis there. Um, not there's anything wrong with that. I put keys down on songs all the time that are that are too high for me to sing. So don't take it as negative. I'm just pointing out what's actually happened here. So sometimes, no matter even if you're a great artist, it's great to put the key to match your voice. Otherwise, you're gonna sound horrible. So you want to make sure you put the right key for your voice. Okay. Just a little some parts here that I'd like to make notes of. Close your eyes. Eyes that vibrato, just the power of a really controlled vibrato. Now, if you slow that vibrato down, you'll hear it's very clear, like a bounces in it. Have a listen. Close your eyes. Really beautiful. Really important to have a really nice, uh, clean vibrato. Let me just fix this. So it's like this. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, well. All right, so we've got vibrato there. Okay. So next, 35. Tonight, just the way he's placing it. You know, I don't even think it's... Nathan, who sings this verse from Boys to Men, Nathan Morris, doesn't even do vibrato like this. So vibrato is a beautiful skill that you can use to add to songs, even where the original artist doesn't use vibrato. Um, Nathan's vibrato is not that smooth in from Boys to Men, but uh, sometimes it's it's on and off. But the, here it shows how much you can add to it when you can do vibrato, placing it in that phrase really beautifully. Okay, uh, so vibrato again. Let's go 57. Come in, come in, come in. Just the, the ability to do fast runs, you know, it's really, it's really important. Like it really um allows you to do so much more with the song and it sounds clean. Me to your come, come, come. That's how you practice it. You break it down really, really slow. Top quality when he's doing it. So I'm pointing all these things out so you can see why a singer sounds so great. You know what I mean? I'll make love to tonight, baby, all through the night. I'll make love. So here I was just noticing that he's looking at the lyrics. So that's good, okay? It's um, sometimes you don't know full songs fully off by heart, and that's all good. Like um, have the lyrics ready in front of you, so you can sort of use that. Yeah, one twenty-seven. Now this is like a long phrase, so I just wanted to comment on it. From now. That was all one breath, one breath. And this is live on stage, you know what I mean? It's really hard to get this right. It's like, how long is that? You tell me to... it's, it's about 10 seconds long. That's really hard. So I would like train the hell out of that. And even when you train it, sometimes when you're on stage, it's you forget to take 
enough of a breath right before you do it. So I'm sure like he can he can probably do it even better than this, even smoother. Because towards the end he started to lose it a bit, like just get a little shakier than he normally is in the other parts of the song. So yeah, to train it, I mean you just got to take a real big breath before you start, really quick. Will not let go till you tell me to go relax. So you just, if you just really um, pay attention to that bit and train it, you'll gradually be able to hold, even if you can't do it straight away, you gradually be able to do more and more, like be able to hold longer, longer notes if you practice the hell out of phrases like that. That was great. Oh, I want to keep this thing visible. Let me try to get it, get it pop in. No. No. Can't seem to get it. Oh, no, we'll just leave it. Okay. So long phrases, 10 seconds. All right, 135, what do we got here? Let's go, go. I just want to show like notes like that. They're really hard. It's a quick slide. Go, go slow. Even without the run. Go. Let me show you slow motion. So you can hear what that sounds like. Let's go slow. Hear that? Go. It's two notes. It's not just let's go. It's let's go. All right. So let's slow down to 25 so you can really clearly hear it. These are the details that amateurs and intermediate singers are missing. These are the kind of details you got to be able to do to sing really in pro. Two clear notes, hear that? Go. Alright. Go. Alright, next. So we'll call that slides. Two. Now, he, he goes creative and he adds his, his own blend into a falsetto, it changes beautiful. Now the song doesn't do that. The song just goes, you're close on the floor. So instead of just doing it like that, he adds a variation. Throw your clothes on the floor. And it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I love that. I call that blend. Yeah, or blend. It's kind of short for chest to falsetto. So he's going floor, chest, chest, falsetto, flow, flow. And it's really hard to go through that without fully cracking. Like I cracked a little bit there on one of them. So that's called blend. And it's something you got to train the hell out of. And this guy kills it. When he did one last cry, he's a master at that. That's his strong point. And I love how he put his strong point into this. Alright, so here he goes flat. Okay, so. Go whatever you ask me, you know. That's what he's meant to hit. It is just a tiny bit flat. Alright, so this is where it's another long note hold as well. It's a long breath. So he probably maybe just didn't prep, maybe just didn't take enough air in. I'm sure he can do it. He just probably just didn't take enough air in. And the note does sound like it's on his limits as well. So to train that, I would probably go to Amazing Slowdown and drop the key and then build that up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go on my website and you can see I've got a free guide for how to use Amazing Slowdown and you get lessons and I can teach you how to drop the key and all that kind of stuff to build up your voice, to take it higher. But uh, yeah, so sometimes it's just about taking enough air in and sometimes you actually got to work on the note because it's your limit and you got to increase your limit. Here we go. From here.
Now he took a breath there. You know I can do, baby. Oh, I, ooh. So it's just a matter of. It, sometimes you just go flat, even if you, you've practiced a lot. That's why you practice more, so you reduce the amount of times that you go flat when you perform. Because going flat is like the most common mistake that people usually make, you know. So, um, so just an example of how even an amazing singer will still go flat sometimes, okay. And they can work on it, but sometimes they're just having a harder vocal day. Sometimes they just didn't prepare enough in the moment, and they just got to think about that. All right. Next up. 233 that no it was just that run love 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 he just started it so smooth i just wanted to note note that note the note <laughs> Tight, fast run. Gold. So there he does like a, a change from the actual melody, the actual run. So the actual run goes, Your life, your life. Oh. That's what the actual run is. Your life. And then he goes on from there. So what he does, he does a nice change and then he adds in a big note hold instead. Now, sometimes the singers don't know the notes because they can't figure them out or they intentionally change it. Change it. Now, with one Ye and Brian McKnight and that, I would say sometimes that the singer, most of the time, is that the singer can't figure it out if they're not doing something as hard because these guys are world class like they're the hardest they do the hardest runs we, brian mcknight Wanye morris you know from this song so um if you want to figure out how to do the runs what you do is you you slow it down so you go back to my site and and teaches you how to slow down stuff there or you can use youtube but that the program asd is better because it um you can loop stuff so you don't have to keep looping it uh manually and it's better quality on the audio. So, yeah, uh, it's cool to learn the exact runs. And then once your skills is good enough that you can learn the exact runs, then you have the choice. You can do the exact run or you can do a modification or you can do uh, a modification that's as complex as the exact run because your skills are that high. So I would probably like add that to him, see if he can do the um, exact run. And if you can't do it, then show him how to do it, then he'll know how to do it. And then he can do all those things that I just said. You have more control, even more abilities than he already has. Uh, learning exact run. And 35. I just love the way he ended. You like that control over the vibrato speed it just takes a really slow you really nice really beautiful control just want to finish on that all right guys i'm rishad hayek rmbsinglessons.com hope you guys enjoyed this detailed analysis and i'll see you next time bye